So please look this picture on the left side. <laughs> this is particularly, I put this picture and you can see that there are many books around this girl and she's trying to figure out like maybe she read like five more, ten more books or maybe webinars or maybe she need to travel somewhere distant to find herself. I mean, this is the story of each soul. But then, you know, she's looking there, maybe not realizing that she has that huge suitcase in her hand. And that suitcase is what I want us to look today. When I said that we already arrive as a package, it means think like this, like the planet of value, planet that is ruling by second house is Venus. Venus is exalted uh, in Pisces on 27 degree. So the Pisces is the only non-material sign in our zodiac and non-material house. So this non-material thing is the essence of value of our being. So until we figure out that, we can look whatever we want. We will always try to chase something in order to find joy, to find value. And it's not going to happen until we go into it, until we figure out that you are the package. It means that your essence, it's already in you. All your gifts are already in you. You arrive with them. And <laughs> this is first we want to see. We want to see our gifts, and then we are going to look how to activate that. Uh, let's put some structure here. <laughs> so our essence is, of course, in the physical body. So we also need, you know, the structure so we know how to use it. Tonight we are going, tonight or uh, it's night here. Uh, maybe it's completely different time where you are. So let's say today we are going through five steps that you first, we, we will first go and see through um, your your soul map. I mean, when you look your natal chart as a soul map, you want to see, number one, like, what is feeding your soul? And then you know how to ignite and raise your energy. Then we are going to look um, second step through Watery House, discover your ideal clients. Then we go uh, step three. We are talking about your core talents and how to master your beliefs. And then step four, we will go and see how, when we know what is our essence, what are our gifts, what are our people, we still need to give them a shape. This is why we have earth element and we have earth houses. It means that we need to turn our purpose into products and services by using our intuition. And the fifth thing is when you already know all of this, you still want to um, have fun. You still need to tell people, you know, that you exist and that you can help them with, with whatever you do, but you definitely through air houses want to do through your authentic way and you want to have a lot of fun. So let's start. So the first thing is we are starting with the moon and then and the fire houses. First thing we want to look, um, let me show this slide. Okay, so why we start with the moon? Because the only thing that we can have, you know, going from one to another life is actually our soul memories. And in your moon, in the moon last and first conjunction, in your moon position, in the sign, in the house, and notes. This is where we start to figuring out what are your primary needs, what fulfills you, really what fulfills you. And then the amazing truth that your soul food is exactly what your ideal client are searching for. And this universe is such a beautiful place. It means the more you understand your needs, your soul food, the more you fulfill yourself, the easier your ideal client will find you. <laughs> okay? So this is the first step we are going to look. First, we will go through moon. I'll show you an examples. And then after that, 
we need to understand that the level of consciousness that we have, it's completely dependent of kind of energy we have. Let me give you one very simple, but very profound <laughs> example. Let's say that you have a new iPhone. So it's a pretty good camera there. So you can make amazing photos and videos. And there are many, you know, very awesome things. Maybe you downloaded some applications. So, And then, you know, you just want to do something. Let's say you want to make video and you try to tap on your phone and doesn't want to open or you want to make just a photo or something else. And then you figure out that your phone is on four percentage of battery of 100%. So, and if you manage to have that <laughs> and to, and if you didn't have charger, you can notice that. So what I'm trying to convey here is that we have all these amazing things inside of us, but if we didn't plug ourselves, if we don't constantly, I mean, every day are protecting our energy, and managing our energy, we are not able to use our high function. So how we are going to discover, like first we need to make the sparkle. You first want to ignite your soul, that's step one, and then you, you want to raise energy, step three, and then you want to protect your energy. So let's talk about that. <clears throat> 